sitting back, you know what I mean, enjoying my day, sipping on my Henny. Actually, I ran out of Henny. I'm sipping on Bacardi. I sip every day, if you don't know. Fuck what you think. I've seen these random niggas, every nigga in the world commenting. Don't really care for them. Most of them, they're just trash. But, listen, uh, it's only so much a nigga could take when I feel it's almost like an assault on my brand at this point. It's only so much a nigga could take. I gotta keep it. A, I gotta keep it hundred with you. The show is cool. I like the show. It's dynamic. But outside of the show, man, I got a whole brand going. I don't know about none of these other niggas, but I don't know nobody brand in media strong as my shit. My my supporters, they, they rock with me every day. So I can't be sitting back, and, and I'm pretty good with it. Sit back, I'm between to a bunch of niggas. Like, I just kick back, I watch, kick back, watch. But, I mean, again, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all niggas can't be throwing, y'all can't be throwing my brand through the mud, period. You feel me? And that's what I've been seeing recently. Again, this is something, because I was thinking about it for like the last two hours. I was going to dress on Everyday Struggle, but I got to keep it 100 with y'all. Uh, they, they got, they, I feel like every time I'm about to get something off my chest, they got time issues. Like, yo, hey, wrap it up. Ain't no wrap it up type of shit. This is my stream, my platform. I go all night. All right, so I'm addressing it here. We could carry that conversation. I, re- I want to carry the conversation on tomorrow. But I know they probably ain't going with it. So I'm going to do it on my shit. And... It's going to be on filthy. I know I get down. But anyway, uh, there's a bunch of clowns, like, commenting on me. I won't even mention them, like, random niggas. I'm like, who are these niggas? I don't, I don't know them. Uh, as far as anybody could tell, and just to clarify, Charlemagne's my guy. Okay. Listen, he's my guy. There's some other radio niggas commenting, uh, like, them niggas is commenting because they ain't got shit going on. I got to be, be honest with you. Them niggas just commenting. They have nothing going on. These are facts. Okay, like, looking dry for them. They got to comment. But I was especially disturbed. I'm seeing a bunch of fucking blog posts. Everybody's like, yo, man, I seen an article. I seen an article, like, I'm on the surfing websites again. I see my co-host on some shit like, yo, Academic's one of the biggest pussies he's ever seen. I'm like, what? Is, I'm like, this gotta be from the show. Maybe there's something like back and forth. We we get a little disrespectful back and forth. If if this if it's that, it's fine. I don't care. And in the show, we say all type of shit. That's just what the show is. But it was really outside of the show, and it was really going back to an issue which I'm kind of past. Like that whole Migo situation. I mean, the memes are great. Listen, there's a great meme of me right now. I love it. Trust me, I love memes. I love gifts. I I love it. But. It's an assault on my brand when every time niggas is mentioning me like, yo, listen, it's like rewriting the context. And also this shit, most of this shit is not even true, man, like in terms of how situations play out. So I'm going to give y'all my, my breakdown of how everything go down because I was being very careful in not in allowing everybody else to make sure they could put out their size and whatever the case is. Like I told you what I saw initially, but I didn't really get too much in depth, but I want to play this clip, man. I'm not going to lie. It, 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 it kind of pissed me off because, number one, <clears throat> and again, I'll see Joe in the morning. But the other two niggas, he did a podcast. The other two niggas, it, Clay, I don't care what niggas try to say. These niggas don't like me. These are facts. They don't like me. You could, you know when a nigga's speaking on you don't like you. They don't like me. A little slick comment here. Little, I ain't never hear nothing complimentary. Not that I care or want, but I never hear nothing complimentary. So I know when my name come up, it's going to be jabs, 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 cool and everything, but... It's a, it, it's, it gets to, <clears throat> my bad. It gets to a point, man. Y'all can't be like body slamming me like that. Especially, this, this this is the thing too. Especially, I don't attack these people personally outside the show. Never. Joe's girlfriend's getting at me. Bruh, in the most polite and respectful way, I try to respond to her. I'm not attacking these people personally outside the show. You ain't never seen me get on online and be like, yo, Joe's a bitch. Never. That's true, though. Right? I never did that. Now, if we argue in conversation on the show, it is what it is. I don't attack these people personally. Y'all know it. They be dragging my name through the mud. I, I don't even tweet back. When I do tweet, you know it's, it's like building up. We got to be honest. Other niggas, everybody chiming in, whatever, whatever. And again, it's not about the actual like like content 
most of these niggas, they going on some personal shit. You know what I mean? They, they, they kind of, they're attacking me as a person. Which, once you start attacking me as a person, you're attacking me as a brand. Right? You're not, you're not, you're not making really even commentary on what we're doing on the show. You're just attacking me. So, at some point, I got to respond. I'm going to play this little clip. Because I, I don't want to, I don't want to quote niggas. I want y'all niggas to hear. Then I'm going to go down my facts and then stream is done. Who's in your house? I don't know. I think I can take two and a half of Migos by myself. Yeah. But I'm a little arrogant. <coughs> I'm not familiar this with This is also them. the gun era, by the way. I'm not familiar. Everyone got a Draco. They don't want to fight. So that's what everybody's telling me about Migos. Apparently, everybody views Migos as very tough guys. I don't. I must not be that familiar with their music. Mm. I still look at them like the kids. Mm -hmm. How old are they? Probably 25. 25. Somewhere in that realm. Yeah, that's man. kids. 25, 26. Yeah, kid, you 25. So I've inherited, uh, they've inherited a Yachty beef toward me. But what is the Yachty beef, though? I'm not sure, Ma. Wait, it's so, different right. times. With so me. if we're going to talk about it, let's talk about the whole thing. Was there a conversation before the interview started? Well, in the morning, and I just... Because I'm going off academics timeline. Academics is one of the biggest pussies I've ever seen in my entire life. But he he should never comment on anything that has to do with physicality. <laughs> but, but, we, but we knew that already. I don't fault and, him for being a pussy when you know he's a pussy. Well, you got to stop talking sometimes when you're oh, pussy, I, well, is, I, what I'm, is what ben, I mean. That's what I've I, been saying that, and Charlamagne no, killed yeah, me for saying that. I agree. <laughs> I agree. There's nothing wrong with being pussy, but you got to be pussy to the corner sometimes. Just shut up. But, uh, no, I had a conversation with with P, who manages or has some affiliation mm -hmm. with, uh, he's part of QC, which is in charge of Migos and Yachty together. Quick question. How old is Academics? Uh, 27. 27, yeah. Okay. With the same age. With some arrested development. Okay, go Clearly. Ahead. Okay. Um, so I, so he's, a, he's responsible for Migos and Yachty. I'm not sure. I can't tell you what Yachty's beef is, honestly. I don't think he, I think. He, do, he dislikes the way that his likeness is spoken about on the show, even after he's been on the show. But to me, I never really want, ever want to talk about him, ever. I don't care. I don't care about him. But my thing is, because after Yachty did the, the, the interview with y'all, I, I kind of liked him as a person. <laughs> me like, too. I didn't know much about him before Me too. That. So I don't understand where the, the issue would be well, coming then, off that But interview. then his album came out, and the, the narrative was he didn't do well. Okay. And then academics got up there talking about how he didn't do well. Okay. And then they put out, then they put out uh, the kid, the guy P, on Instagram, put out the long Instagram post talking about how they made $13 million in 16 months or whatever. And that was confusing to me because I'm like, if you've made this amount of money, then why the fuck do you care about this shit? About the Who, sales. Yeah, yeah, why do you care? Why but, are you even paying this shit any fucking attention? I don't, I will never get that part, but... And cool. I'm sure the, the target uh, brand manager is not watching Everyday Struggle thinking maybe we should Yeah. Drop <laughs> right, what the but so academics did that. Homeboy post that. So for me, that lets me know how Yachty and his camp are feeling about the show and what is said on the show. Academics want to still, he's still like bright eyed. So he, he still want to text Yachty and like be friends and, you know, he want to do all of that. So now that that has stopped. That's what I'm assuming Yachty's beef is. I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, the morning of, I need some socks. I go to the mall. I see the, uh, the dude, P. P says, y'all need y'all to lay up off of Yachty. Okay. I say... He was walking hand in hand in the Beverly Center? I, I, no, we were in... Uh, what was that store I got those socks from? Overpriced dress socks, by the way. But anyway, no, it was a store. So he said, lay up off Yachty. You know my memory's bad. So I say, do I know you? He says, yeah, you know me. I need y'all to lay up off Yachty. We have a conversation. At the end of it, I give him my word and say, you know, I never want to talk about Yachty. We're agreeable here. So, yes, great. Kudos. Uh, and that was the end of that. Mm -hmm. But I had been having behind-the-scenes conversations with Complex just about interviewing Migos, period. Okay. Why would anybody want to interview Migos? 
I've never seen a good Migos interview in my entire life, ever. Well, they have a reputation of not giving great interviews, but that's they're my still, fucking they're still, point. But they're still from a media. I like, they're don't Migos. give people, a fuck. I'm telling you why other people would give a fuck. Oh no, I know why. Migos. Oh no, like, I know why. But they're I, very popular. Yeah, they make Migos, great music. At the BT Awards. I'm yeah. not of that. They're ilk. dressed well. I'm not of that. I'm not from yeah, that. But, but you gotta I'm understand. Sorry, but you're, you're a media man. Yeah, now. you're a media guy now. Which means what? Which means you have to accept certain things. No, the fuck. That's where you got media man fucked up. No, I do not. Well, with your with your new hat that you're wearing. No, I do not ever produce, have to talk to fucking Migos. If 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 the if the show requires that they want Migos on, you do. It no, would, it would behoove well, you to do so. I did. And clearly, yeah. it, I it I did. did, but only because we're at the red carpet. That's what I just said, Joe. That's exactly it. The BET Awards, like he's not saying have the well, Migos. Well, and they wanted to talk to Migos. Okay. So cool. Right. Talk to fucking Migos. I don't care. I don't have any plans to talk to Migos. So Migos get up there and they shady from the jump. Mm -hmm. They ain't dapping niggas. They got attitudes. Right. Oh, uh, really? This this is what y'all wanted to fucking interview? Mm -hmm. They gonna come up here and give us their fucking ass kiss, but cool. All right. Can I, I get stop you right there just for a second? That's their personalities from what I've seen. You have done press runs and your attitude sometimes is not the best. Do you? Do I think you that's see where the problem is from? with you. You you don't you see you don't know how to because you're an artist too, right? So you don't. It's like that's why people feel a way towards you when you say certain things in your interviews now with artists because they're looking at you like nigga, you an artist. You sat in this chair that I'm in. Like you know how we feel about this media shit and how the shit can come across. You so people hold people. you to a different. It's like. Come on, my nigga. Like, and I don't know if Migos is that way at all, but I'm saying, could you understand as someone that has done that in the past, how how they could feel that way? Like, I got to sit down. I got to answer how I feel about the awards, whatever, whatever. And then, again, you're an artist. Well, you know, first of all, Migos is bigger than I've ever been. Of course. So I was as confused as to why they were even doing interviews in the first place. <laughs> well, it's the BT Awards. They're oh, performing. Nah. Everyone does a quick little interview on the, for the most part. There was a lot of people at the awards that did not that skipped the interviews. All the niggas you would think would skip them, skipped them. They had a lot to do with the awards, so I, I think it was fine. Management. I mean, that that's a moot point. They did the fucking interview. They wanted to do the interview, but I wasn't gonna say a word to them. I gave it to academics who's bright eyed and has never been in this environment, on this red carpet, dealing with this type of commotion. Academics is ignoring the producers. They're screaming to wrap it up. He's doing all types of shit. And then in the middle of the interview, well, how the, much how much wasn't on there? Obviously, it was edited. It was a lot edited. Okay, it, it, how, did, how did the interview? Oh, begin? so it was a, it was more than that. That was just it like it definitely looked like it was. Cut. It was much more. So oh, how, how okay. it was that's much that's more now. awkwardness. Oh, it was much okay, more okay. tension. Okay. In the middle of the interview, the gentleman that I spoke to in the morning intervenes to say, "And me and Joe, he don't know what's being said in the interview. He just jumps in. Yeah, me and Joe had a talk this morning. All that yachty shit is dead. Huh? That wasn't. A that was a little odd to just bring up. Nah, I mean, well, yeah, you're right. I did say that the Yachty shit. Mm -hmm. I'm never saying nothing about Yachty. But that's the, the energy's a little different now. Now I'm putting that with the mall. Now I'm putting that with Migos has come up. I'm putting that with Yachty storming by, uh, looking mad, uh, not saying hi back to academics. You're just putting all this shit together, and I'm supposed to, and I'm putting complex and academics wanting to interview these niggas so fucking bad that I never want to talk to them in the fucking first place. Now I'm sitting here, and I got to stare at these fucking accessories and fucking shiny shirts. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're telling me? Because I've decided to change my career course? Yeah. Suck my dick. That's what that's what comes with it. Hell no, no, so, no. That ain't the way that I do my media. I don't want to talk to nobody that and don't want to sit there. No. But that happens though. N not, no, it's not going to happen, is what I'm saying. End uh, past tense on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. Future reference. No, 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 no. No, all that complex academics being giddy dot giddy eyed, just wanting to talk to people that's famous just for the simple fact they're famous. No. Nah, sorry, more. No, I mean, I, I hear you, but I'm just saying there's certain so how things do you, do you have, have to accept as this new media guy. How do you filter that moving forward? Because there were people that you guys had great interviews with. And I feel I like y'all could have had a great interview out of that. Well, we got a great interview out of it. No, you got a well, great, no, you got a great moment, moment out of that. In, 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 in my world, well, no, that's, that's, a world. that's a great interview. That's a great interview. That moment, that time, that encapsulated space... That's a great interview. That was about as great as we was going to get from these niggas who don't want to talk in the first place. Yeah, I can see that. 
But I'm just saying, I think a lot of artists, they look at you because you are an artist. So they like, come on, though. You know how it is. Some days you might not you be going through some real shit behind the scenes. You don't flex yeah, but that's down not the, the case. Place. These niggas just inherited a beef from a nigga that I don't even listen to or know anything about. Or and don't, I still don't, don't understand what the beef is. <laughs> I think Yachty walked away from that looking really good. Yeah, but when you don't sell maybe like you were projected to, then... So they're trying to equate that to the interview? No, I mean, that's just me speculating. Oh, God, I mean, but, you can't... That would be just not smart for them to speculate that. I'm saying what, not, like you saying, nothing has happened since he came up and did the interview. Nothing happened since then, except for well, academics like talking about the numbers. Yeah. So I have to assume that whatever his problem is, is related to academics talking about the numbers or the numbers, period. I don't care enough about it to continue to discuss it. Well, how'd the whole shit get diffused? Because obviously it cut off with the cool. It didn't get diffused. They, they, they came over with Complex's editing team is um, amazing. Homeboy in a little blue and white shirt that looked like he trying to get aggressive with me is getting aggressive with our producer, Lyric. I, I who, saw who's him, a, uh, who's a elbow. girl. Well, not He's pulling away from her like he about to do something. My hand is up saying, uh, they saying, yo, what's good? What's really good? What's going on? Nothing. Yo, what's up? What's your prop? Nothing. Well, what, what you want to do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I keep so then Pete comes over, he storms over. It's just a bunch of it's just aggressive actioning. Then Pete comes, yo, yo, what's going on? I keep saying nothing. Mm. I keep saying nothing. <laughs> See, you know what it is, man. People just don't what? Yeah, it's just it's the, just the cameras I, are on. Yeah. It's, it's, but that's my point. Way. I'm not with all that. I just seen this nigga in the mall. In the morning with my fucking basketball shorts on. If it's something, tell me it's something early. Don't come with it on the carpet with the cops. I'm not with all of that. I'm not with it. I'm not with all of the this posturing double, for cameras. That's this double not me. Backs, this it's double never been me. Shit. I do not care that y'all are superstars. I don't. No, I get that. The young niggas are saying I'm a hater. I'm yeah. tired of that narrative, too. Well, I mean, it's going to come across that way. Yeah, but it yeah. shouldn't. Well, I fuck you, with you, Uzi. I fuck with Ray Schremer. I fuck with Vince. Who else? It's only the... Who do I not fuck with? <laughs> no, but the funny shit Triple is... Triple X I fuck with even though he keep running around doing stupid but when shit. The, but when the clip is fucking one minute and it's you getting up, dropping a mic and going, yeah. what the fuck? It's gonna People, come you gotta look at perception. Joe is hating again. Yeah. It's gonna come across like that. After the Yachty shit. Joe is hating again. When has Joe ever cared about how it comes no, across? No, it's not no, about, telling, about you caring. Oh, okay. I'm just telling you how yeah. it's gonna you come across. You mentioned that everyone's saying you're a hater. The funny why. shit is... I, might, I may be wrong, but I think... All right. Listen, that's pretty much the, the whole clip. You see, and, and this is why I'm still mad about this edited footage shit, man. Because we just get to kind of put whatever spin on the narrative. Now the narrative is that I'm the pussy in the situation. Like, th this is why it's tripping me out. I'm the pussy in the... Hey, if, if listen, I'm all for self-deprecating humor. I, I use it all the time. If y'all watch my videos, I got 1.1 million subscribers doing my thing on YouTube. Been doing my thing on YouTube for five plus years. Shit, when when I'm talking about certain shit that I know that I would never engage in, I let people know, hey, I'm pussy, listen, I ain't gonna be doing the shooting out shit. I have no problem admitting that. I do self-deprecating humor. Shit, if you even criticize me and say, yo, I ain't gonna lie, man, when Vic, uh, Vic Mensa looked at you and said, yo, you a bitch, I'm gonna slap you, you look like a, you look like a pussy, I'll take it. I'll take it because you see it. That's what it, uh, all right, if that's your opinion, fine. In this situation with Amigos, Bruh, this that I was not the center of focus on that shit. When 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 it's kind of being put out like I'm just pussy and I was pussy, that, that's cut it out. That ain't what happened. That is that is that is exactly why this whole editing and deleting of footage it really fucks me up because people then believe that and then they go with the alternate storyline. I really hate it. I I resent it. You get me? Listen. And again, I, I would rather address this on the show. But I ain't going to have the amount of time that I want to have to discuss it. Because they're going to be like, all right, wrap it up. You see, that wrap it up shit is, you see, I don't even know what that's about. Wrap it up. Man, nigga, we going on YouTube. What are we wrapping up? Nigga, fuck 11, 12, nigga, we could go up whenever. If I got something to say, it should be just allowed. But fuck it. That's why I got my own platform. That's why I could talk it up. Listen, I'm just confused why the narrative keep changing. I mean, listen, I got questions. And I've laid out the facts before, but when you hear, when you don't have the video t for you to make your own opinion up, it's kind of who gives you the story and what spin they give it on. Now, let me tell you what I saw, okay? And, and, and by the way, let's be clear, man. You see, I don't like getting, I don't like, listen, 
I, I don't want to throw any shade or any disrespect at Complex because I have had an issue with this particular thing with Complex, and Complex has been nothing but understanding. They understand, and a lot of them agree. They're not with the editing shit either. You know what I mean? That's some fucked up shit that some other shit happened. You get me? So I don't want to throw Complex under the bus. But to insinuate, listen, it's Joe and the producers that had this shit taken out. Like, let's keep it real, man. Listen, they try to tell me why this shit was not in there. Basically, from what I saw, homie, which is P from Migos, or not Migos, but QC, he tried to press Joe. Now, again, maybe my definition of pressing is different, but when, I, when we're doing an interview and a nigga comes right over your shoulder and looks at you and say, yo, listen, remember what we talked about? We not on camera. We ain't going to talk about Yachty. Say it. We ain't going to talk about Yachty, right? You agree. It looks like that nigga pressed you. That's what it looked like to me. Now, why they took it out? I wasn't involved in that process because I don't want nothing to be taken out. If I wanted shit to be taken out, you think I would have said, hey, let's go ahead with Vic Mensa saying, you a bitch, I'm going to slap you. I don't want shit to ever be taken out. Why are we going to be filming if we're going to be editing shit? And that's why I didn't know how much was going to be taken out. That's why I didn't know how much the narrative was going to be spun. So I knew something was going to be like taken out. I'm like, all right. But then when I seen how the reaction was, everyone's like, yo, academics, you caused this. You know how, and, and this is what I'm saying, yo, I don't know if it's, well, it's not concerted because I've talked to a lot of people. Like, it's not complex doing it. I think it's specific people. When I look like the crazy one, like I'm asking a question to get these, no, these niggas were on edge. They tried to press you twice. And that's my whole thing. Like, I don't know how Joe explains it. I told him, I said, bro, you know they try to press you twice. I don't know if he calls that a pressing, but when niggas is coming at you like, yo, you're going to do this, right? And and, and you're acquiescing. I, I think that's a press, but I'm not a street nigga. So maybe pressing is something else. But for me, that looked like somebody's pressing you, okay? That footage is out. You try to dap him. That footage is out. Other shit, that footage is out. The only footage that is in is the footage where I'm asking, and it's the most awkward question because we can't hear, hear each other. And, and this is the thing that frustrates me, too. If we edit out, if we edit out all that shit, why not edit out the part where I'm not asking the nigga the same question five times? Cause I'm not trying to play him. I really can't hear him, and you know this, cause you're here with me. No, that's left up. That's why th that's why I resent all of this shit because I was, you know, what I mean, after I I've talked to all these motherfuckers, and I was fine. Believe me, I was fine. But when we're still going with this narrative that I'm this pussy and I did this, nigga, I ain't do. Yo, this situation is not on me. If you blame the Vic Mensa situation on me, I'll take it. I brought, we were moving on. I brought it back to that conversation. 100% right. I take it. I own it. I would never, ever have them cut that footage because, again, it would look weird. It looks like some real, I, I'm not creating reality TV. I'm not creating fake news. That's the exact thing that happened. But, listen, my thing is, Joe, don't just act like Complex did this. Bro, you were down with it. Stop it. You got to stop it. You were down with this footage being taken out. Come on. You, we gotta be we gotta be honest because and I wouldn't give a fuck if I wasn't being thrown under the bus. Now I'm thrown under the bus. He asks a bad question and he's just pussy. Really? That's what we doing? I, I'm just I'm just gonna fall on every sword. And not only that, shit. It's the show is one thing, but then on every other platform besides the show, I'm being attacked personally, and y'all are helping it out. Y'all ain't even sticking up. Like nah 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 nah. Like, nobody, nobody brings up the fact, again, they not mad at me. Homie try to check Joe twice. They're moving down on Joe. I seen that, I, I know you seen that GIF or whatever, that GIF or whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever, but like, I'm thinking they're about to rush him. Again, if I'm so pussy, I would have just got right out of the carpet. Like, all right, I'm over there, I'm going that way, they're going that way. Man, I, I see they're not going at me. I'm trying to say, yo, chill. Chill, because I, I don't want him to attack my co-host. I don't want him to fuck up the set. I don't want him to fuck up. We were having a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day. How am I pussy for that? I go, I'm the only person in between. The, I'm not saying I saved nobody. Don't get that fucked up. But I'm, I go towards the shit saying, everybody chill, please. Chill, chill, chill. You hear me saying it. I wasn't trying to push the moderator. I wasn't trying to push her towards no type of violence. I was trying to get to right where he was at because there was another nigga in, in like a, a shirt. I know his name. I don't want to say his name, but he was making a beeline around. And I could tell quickly he's the nigga that's going to throw the punch. So when I see like this whole narrative is not getting twisted. Academics a pussy. He's dick riding. The dick riding shit really fucks me up. And, 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 and listen, if they keep it 100 about the editing, bro, the editing had nothing to do with me. 
Joe isn't on it. The producers is on it. Point blank, period. I don't. You know I don't lie. You know I don't fucking lie. That's what it is. I don't lie. Okay? So let's not spin this to be some other shit, especially... I don't care about y'all spinning shit. Don't spin it and put me under the bus. Yo, niggas is kill. Yo, there's every blog running a story today. Academics is so pussy. Why are we leaving that situation? Which already I'm mad at y'all for editing footage and then y'all just throwing me completely to the wolves. Am I that unimportant? That shit is crazy to me. They try to check Joe twice. In my opinion, if you want to consider to check a press, whatever... They try to check you twice. Also, listen, man, I know y'all really, like, listen and believe all this other shit and maybe fine, maybe I can't fight, like, the, whatever. But, bro, I dis and I told him, too, I'm like, I'm not gonna, if this is pussy, you let me know. Don't get on social media after the fact. They were in front of your face. Don't get on social media after the fact or get on a podcast. I could have beat three of them up. Dog, they sat there, and I was trying to say, everybody chill, and they're like, what are you trying to do? If you had said to them, I beat all three of you niggas up, it's going down. They're not doing that. So when I see that, I'm like, yo, why are we still spinning it? We don't got to, yo, you see me? Let me tell you this, and I always consider this is in any type of situation. Man, if somebody bitched me in person, bro, I won't go back to the crib or go back to my homie's house and then act like I'm tough. No, bro, it should happen. Shit happened. It happened. Like, it happened and nobody did anything otherwise. You didn't look at them and be like, yo, all three of y'all are why? You know, it didn't happen like that. They always there like, what's up? What are you trying to do? And that's why the whole QC is even more mad now because don't go online and then try to change it up. That They have a problem with that. Because we were there in person. You saw they, get, they got busy with Chris. And it's not dick riding. What I'm saying, because I honestly believe this too. You can't be in front of these niggas' faces, right? You're not saying, let's get it on. I'll kill all three of y'all. And then later say, I'll kill all three of y'all. Come on, man. It's, are we keeping it consistent? Maybe I'm just pussy. If I'm just pussy, if I'm just on some other shit, please tell me. I'm not a street nigga. I want y'all to help me identify and figure out where I'm analyzing this. From. I'm always open to new information. Anybody, please call me. No, not now. But y'all can hit me. We could talk. Maybe I'm just too too fresh off the porch or whatever. But they could have did something. You didn't say that you could have did all that to them. Basically said, hey, want no problems. They didn't do anything. The other shit, I could take two and a half of them. If you had told them that in the, in the interim, when there was like 15 of them in our face, I'm pretty sure. They're not saying, all right, okay, you're right. I'm just saying. I'm being honest. So that that shit kind of like, I'm like, my brain ain't never, you see, you see, even the pussy shit, it like, my brain ain't created on me being a tough guy. It's not. So I don't have to show bravado, I'm the toughest nigga. No, everybody who's a fan of mine, they know I've never claimed to be a tough guy, ever. I have an opinion, everybody know I does. Have a, I'm really opinionated, but I never claim to be a tough guy, which is the reason why I'm not going to get online, and I don't know if that makes me pussy. Like, okay, something didn't happen. They say, yo, they were just flexing. They wasn't going to do nothing. You think they weren't going to do nothing? If we was, if we, if we, if you're talking this way online afterwards, if we talk that way in a moment, you think that was going to do nothing? But nothing happened because you didn't approach them when they were all ready to do that shit. You, you weren't, it wasn't the same energy. It wasn't the same energy. Nah, nah, we good. We good. Nothing. What are you trying to do? Nothing. Nothing. Straight. Nothing. They said, all right, fuck it. They left. If it was on some, all right, y'all niggas could get it. It would be a different story. I, I'm, I'm just keeping it 100. I don't like this whole thing. It's being twisted. I feel like I'm getting thrown on every sword, thrown on every bus, and that shouldn't be the case, especially when it's caused by fucking edited footage. If y'all saw the full fucking footage, not one motherfucker would say, academics, this is your fault. Not one person. They would actually be like, academics, you know what? We're going to give you a little bit of credit for trying to be a little bit professional and carrying out the interview. And by the way, this whole thing about why we talking to Migos, here's my thing on that. Bro, we talk to reality stars. We talk to people who all I know about them and no disrespect to them. God bless them. They're, in, they're Instagram famous. We talk to them for like three, four minutes. You're telling me the group that's nominated for award, the group that is performing that night, the group that won best rap group, they come through. And I know they're not the greatest interview, but you're telling me that just because they're not as like... 
uh, excited or whatever. And again, they didn't dap you up, but it wasn't like Quavo was answering questions. Just because they're not fucking jumping out of their seats, we're just going to disrespect them or be mad at them. You know what the Migos is going to bring. You get a couple questions off, fine. Maybe I could have wrapped it a little bit early. I'll take that. I'll take that. But let, let's not act like while we talk. It's the, the Migos are part of culture today. We're in media. We're in media. I don't know if... See, I haven't even watched that episode. I don't know which, which interviews they include and which they didn't. We're interviewing people that I don't know nothing about. The Migos... Is there for music. The Migos is actually there and nominated and is performing. And, and, and it's like, yo, why are we talking to them? Why are we talking to this reality star? Why are we talking to this Instagram famous chick? Unless we about to talk to her about Flat Tommy T. So my thing is, it's not dick crying when I tell them it's my favorite group. And, and I, get, I get mad at that too. This whole dick crying shit, bro. Think about this. These are the people we interview. Yachty, Wale, 2 Chainz, Scissor, DJ Mustard, Vic Mensa, Vince Staples, and a ton of other people. I want to say about like, I feel like 15 or 20 on the red carpet. If y'all watch all those interviews, and that's what I'm saying, yo, y'all got to stop spinning this fucking narrative, bro. I'm done with the spin shit. If I'm dick riding, think about the people who I was really interested in. You could give me 2, two Chainz. I'm a fan of 2 Chainz. I really fuck with 2 Chainz, Right? Um, and again, I'm not denying that maybe I didn't have a fan moment because I'm really interested in their music. I've been listening to their music for years. Yachty. Pretty interested in, in, uh, and ready to talk to Yachty. So Yachty, 2 Chains, and Migos. DJ Mustard was cool. You know what I mean? He's a producer. I'm, I'm pretty interested in the stuff he does. But, low, yo, if we go, if we do the numbers, yo, Joe is excited to talk to all these motherfuckers. SZA, like, he's blushing over SZA. And no disrespect to SZA, I love her. But he's blushing over her. Everybody else, he's blushing over them. He loves all these motherfuckers. And I'm dick right? I'm just saying the narrative, man. I don't know. Again, I'll be sitting back trying to think like how narratives is created. But I, if I'm not speaking facts, tell me where I'm not speaking facts. Now, here's the thing for anybody who don't like the music I like. If you don't like the Migos, if you don't like Yachty, if you don't like these other newer artists, and because I like them or I'm not hating or I'm not gonna diss them if you call that dick riding nigga that's on you if if anybody who I run a stream here almost nightly when I have conversations with the people that follow me if we were to say in conversation yo the Migos is like one of our favorite rap groups nobody would blink an eye but when I told it to them it's a fucking like yo you dick right yeah that's not dick riding man cut it out and again we could put the numbers up on the board Joe's even the Ray Schremer shit bro yo and, and and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. it's all about. It's all about narrative. I guarantee I wouldn't get off the hook like that. I guarantee. A week before, man, fuck, fuck Slim Jimmy. Slim Jimmy's wacky, he's trash. Slim Jimmy comes up, yo, Slim, you're my guy. And 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 I don't point that. Out. I don't hold him to the fire like crazy. Like yo, you dick around him now. You're not. Be yeah, but you, you told me it was whack. Like he was reminding you. Like remember you said I was whack. Like you said like my brother is the only one with talent and I'm just trash and fuck me. So, oh, nah, nah, nah. So, my whole thing is, why everybody getting at me? Why everybody getting at me? He's all smiles when, when, when these guys came up. I'm a fan of three people out of everybody we've talked to, or three? And it's a huge problem? I'm just trying to say, man, yo, 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 we, yo, we just can't spin the situation, man. You don't get, you don't hear me getting on the show saying, fuck this person, fuck that person, and then acting like it ain't happened. The Migo shit, and see, this is another narrative. No, it wasn't created by us saying he flopped. They had that conversation because I had that conversation with them. And I, and I told them, I said, yo, what should I expect? I said, yo, you were there when we talked about Wale sales. We said Wale flopped. I understand no artist is going to like you highlighting them, their sales not to be good. But you didn't do as good as niggas thought you did. You should have done. You flop, bro. You know why QC's mad? Because every time when they... He uses certain artists to motherfucking, like... I, I think it's really the clown me. Like, like I only like... Like, the, the only four artists I like is Ugly God, Playboy Cardi, Lil Yachty, and some other guy. Like, that, because that's what a lot of the internet think is whack. 
So when those artists come up and I say some complimentary, fuck that nigga. Yeah, those artists are listening. Yachty heard, like, like, I don't give a fuck about Yachty Amigos. They heard that. Yes, they, yeah, now they're thinking, whoa, Yachty ain't going to be here in th three years. Yes, that's what they're saying. Every episode, our name is coming up, and it's not coming up on some, like, fair shit. Y'all using it as an example to say I'm trash, I'm whack, I'm not going to be here. They're mad. That's what it is. So I just don't know why I keep getting thrown under the bus. This this Migo shit, I'm just not taking the blame. I told him personally the first day. They were trying to tell me that, yo, it's because you couldn't wrap the interview up. You got to work on wrapping. I'm like, I got to work on wrapping up. And then, did y'all hear the thing? Okay, remember the ear issue. Remember. So when I was saying, hey, what did you say? I couldn't hear them. But I started to rap. I said, listen, man, I wish I could talk to y'all for, for, for longer, man. Y'all one of my favorite groups. Nadeska jumps in like, yo, listen, man, um, good luck on your performance or whatever, like, nominated. That's when shit happened. So it's not about rapping the interview. They had tension because they're thinking, our CEO checked you twice, and after they checked you, you still had the audacity to toss the mic and walk off stage. That's what it is. So I just don't like, and I, I, I'll read the chat. I ain't really trying to take calls today because I ain't staying on here. Point out the pussy shit that I did. If it was real, if I was really acting like a pussy in that instance, I would have moved away from when all the QC niggas is coming. You gotta remember, Migos, they got niggas. Yachty, he got niggas. They're all QC. The Migos niggas is coming. Yachty still got niggas over to the left because he walked past us. So if it's really gonna be a problem and it really got into something, everybody converging over here. So if I realize that offset, takeoff, and quavo, they're not even looking at me after he walks up. They're not looking at me like Yo, this fuck nigga asked about bad and bougie. They're not even doing that. They're looking straight to Joe. You even, if you re watch the clip again, you can read uh, Takeoff's mouth. He says, don't be walking off like that. So that's why I'd be like, yo, where's the, where's the pussy action I did? Where? Or are we just attacking me because I'm a good fall guy because I don't really respond too much. I'm not going to be tweeting that bunch of you niggas. I see all your tweets. I see these other niggas. They throwing quote, quote, shade, spelling my name wrong. Definitely not tagging me. But yeah, you know what I mean? LOL. Academics got fans? Yes, motherfucker. I have a hundred more times supporters than you will ever have. Cut it out. Don't try to play me, nigga. That's just facts. So I see I see, I see, see all that shit. I don't respond to it because I don't care. I don't care. You know what I mean? I, I look at it like this. I'm chilling. These niggas are having their whole day analyzing what I did in 30 minutes. Go ahead. I'm, gonna do, I'm doing some other shit. Doing YouTube videos now. I'm like, I'm doing some other shit. I ain't tripping over what you're saying. You know, it's not going to hurt me. But I seen all them little slick shit, but it's one thing when y'all just critiquing me on the show and when y'all just critiquing me as a person and as a brand. This nigga just the biggest pussy ever. The, nigga, in that situation, that, that, that does not, there is nothing that actually said I did anything pussy in that situation. If me trying to go in front of the niggas trying to jump you and fuck all that shit, I could beat up three of them. What's going to happen? Stop it. We got to stop that. If that's pussy, thank you. L thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know if something happens, I need to really run. Because that's the pussy shit, I would believe. I'm trying to figure out what the pussy shit I did. What's the pussy shit? Y'all let me know. What's the pussy? And again, the, the, the footage being edited allowed for all it. I was so fucking mad, dog. Joe ain't gonna admit it. Joe, Joe knew they were editing the shit. He was down with it. He knew who was editing the shit. Shit, I've been trying to get him to put out the full footage since. Like, yo, put it out. Put it out. Like, put it out. Like, because I'm tired of niggas getting at me. I right, see. I don't want no calls right now. So I'm on some shit like, yo. And that's why I'm not gonna slander Complex. Stopping short of that. We'll not slander Complex today. When Complex does some shit, y'all know... I be, I be like, yo, I be a little bit mad. But I ain't going to... It's, it's literally the producers and Joe signed off on it. He co-signed that shit. And they kept telling us, well... Like, that's some bullshit-ass reason. They're like, well, um... Well, somebody intervened on the interview. They weren't being interviewed. We don't want to put this out to make it seem... Nah, stop it. You ain't put it out. Homie got checked. Or it looked like... it On camera, it would look like he got checked. But did I run back to whenever y'all was chopping up film and be like, yo... Yo, Vic Mensa, call me a bitch. Cut it out. Cut it out. Yo, cut, cut. No. No, that would be fake and phony. I'm not doing that. I would never do that. So that's why I'm saying, yo, y'all got to, like, 
whatever narrative this is, and, and I hate that this footage, if, it, if this footage was never edited, I would never have to say a word. Because I, I believe that when y'all see it, y'all would never be believing these other storylines. Y'all would look at it and be like, okay, I can do this a little awkward. Y'all know it's, my, it's three months or two and a half months on camera. Y'all know what it is. Okay, I can do this a little bit awkward. Yeah, he was kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like, oh, bamboo, well, what? Are you on this? Okay, yeah. But his academics, like, was he pussy in that situation? No! How do we come to this conclusion? How did we come to this conclusion? Is it because we're spinning the storyline? The first storyline they're trying to put out there is that my line of questioning got them mad. No! All the Atlanta rappers are mad at Joe because they think he's just dissing all the new niggas. And he's using their name when their name comes up. Yes, all of them got weird names. When we mention niggas like Sababy, when we mention when we mention Lil Yachty, Wi-Fi's funeral, just tosses them under the bus. That's what it is. So I, I'm not gonna sit here. And, and again, I was cool up until today, but every blog running with the story today saying academic is just the biggest pussy, and I'm thinking, damn, could I could I get blamed for some shit I did? The, the, the scissors shit, and, and even though I had an explanation, but I understood why. When they ran a lot of blog posts about TD, Punch, um, Blast Academics, I sat on it. I ate it. I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. This shit is not me, though. And I'm not going to be the beaten stick. I'm not going to be the nigga who sits here and just get all the blame for every bullshit that happens. When it's not my fault. That if, if we're pointing out the blame for this situation, it's the producers and Joe Budden. It's not DJ Academics. I will take zero blame. Anybody trying to throw blame at me for this situation is now attacking my brand. And then I got to get on some shit where I got to respond. I have to respond. And again, I would, I, I was thinking, I said, you know what? I'm going to start tomorrow's show with this entire thing. But they're going to give me five minutes. I can't say shit in five minutes. I'm going to say, I'm going to talk for two minutes, get cut off. The narrative gets spun again. And then I'll be like, okay, that's what happened. Oh, okay, we got it. So I know the people of a complex, they probably don't want me to speak on this, but I've told them already, I'm not going to sit here while fuck shit is happening and now my brand is being assassinated just to make other people look great. If that, in my opinion, if that footage came out, a lot of y'all would be like, damn, Joe got checked. But we ain't putting that out. We're going to cut that. We're going to leave it like academics, just a bitch ass nigga and he's a pussy. Yeah, because it, it serves the rest of the purpose. It doesn't serve me. It don't serve me. It serves everybody else. I didn't even see the full shit till I'm on the plane. I'm like, I'm just getting like a million tweets. Let's see, academics, man. Don't you fuck with the Migos. Why are you playing these niggas? Damn, yo, you got these niggas ready to fight. Why would you do that? You so unprofessional. I'm like, I'm unprofessional? The guy who actually sits there doesn't throw the mic and walk off. I'm the one who's to blame? Nah, I ain't taking that. I ain't taking that. Um, again, I would I would take calls, but I'm not even trying to take calls. I'm pretty sure I addressed everything. I, I, I really resented how everything went out, given the footage was fucking edited. You can't edit footage. Then I got Joe's girl on on, on, Inst on Twitter saying I'm dick riding, make, which was basically saying I'm speaking for Joe. So academics just a dick ride. That's why it's, no, that's not what happened. Cut it out. And then we ain't put out the footage, period. Then it's like, okay, we'll explain the footage, which is whack to me. How are we going to explain? Let me tell you what y'all would have saw if we put, the, put it out. Y'all got the footage. Y'all got it. Let me tell y'all what y'all would have saw. These things happen. If we're going to break it down, we could give commentary on it, but let him see it. Let him see it to understand what the fuck was going on. But no, explain like that. And I was like, all right, you know what? Truth be told, and I said it last night on stream, I said, yo, what Joe explained was a hundred percent right did he kind of spice it up to make y'all not feel like it's whatever you know what niggas tell us to it whatever but he ain't factually say nothing that was incorrect you see like for some shit i'm like damn i think you got pressed for him he might say i ain't get pressed he just talked to me we agreed all right fuck it if you see the footage maybe you think otherwise i don't know but he didn't say nothing that was factually incorrect but i'm gonna take offense when after the show, we're going on all the platforms and we're talking about this incident and we're going to lead off with it. Your academics is the biggest pussy I ever know. How? Don't tell me it's because I, I like the Migos. Because I like them. That's the biggest sin. 
Yo, we're interviewing reality fucking stars, my nigga. We interviewed, I don't know, see, I didn't even watch that episode. I only watched the, the joints back. They're, we're interviewing reality stars. Very it's excited. Oh, my God. So what do you have next? You have this coming out. You have this product. You're, you're launching a fucking fashion over. This is great. Okay. The hottest rap group comes. Fuck these niggas, man. What are we doing? But it is what it is. Listen, um, let me just make sure I didn't have anything else to cover, but I'm getting off. My thing is, again, I ain't trying to enter the spin of the situation. I'm tired of being thrown under the bus. I'm tired of niggas attacking me because now it feels like they're attacking my brand. My brand is nothing of this is the bit most bitch ass pussy nigga ever to be created. No, we have a dynamic on the show. I don't mind the dynamic. It to me, and I'm telling you only what I felt. Felt like a big brother, little brother shit. He could teach me some shit. I could put him on some new shit. It felt good. It, that's a, no problem. In conversation, I try to joke on him sometimes like, yo, that's why you here with me. Like, you fell off. Sometimes he might be like, yo, listen, man, you just not about it. Whatever. Like, he might just say you don't know too much knowledge. That's great. I love that. I love that part of the show because it's the show that's needed in terms of two different generations really going at it and debating. I like it. But all for this shit, every time I go on, y'all know I don't even tweet back at niggas. I don't got no time for that. I'm seeing tweets. Yeah, if academics wasn't pussy, I'm like, damn. Okay. Now, I'm not going to jump in and be like, yo, what are you talking to? I'm like, I'll let it go. But then, the first thing off of an incident I really got nothing to do with, academics is the biggest pussy ever. Yeah, I'm not with it. That's Listen, if anything, and... This is how you know everything I'm saying is real. If anything I said is factually incorrect, I'll be on the show tomorrow morning and I'm willing to have this conversation. Fuck whatever topics we're talking about. I'm willing to have this conversation. We'll see if it happens. I don't think it will. I'm out of here.